Yo, 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 what is up? My defensive guide is finally here. And for defense, I like to use play physical and nothing inside. Play physical just means they'll bump more, I guess, harder. And the nothing inside obviously means if you can beat on defense, your center will protect you. But the first thing about 1 through 1 you gotta understand is the bumping zones. And what I mean by that is the zones before the animation starts, um, if they're driving and shit. So you have to bump them right where Taj is and where Kirk Heinrich is. Um, to prevent any animation from starting and you just with 131 a good 131 user He never stays on one guy for more than two seconds max and you always have to know the personnel on the floor That's what makes uh, that's what separates the good 131 users from the poor 131 users and um, with Also 131, you know, you just got to anticipate and take risk. Um, you will get beat on rebounding But uh, that's just with every defense pretty much since rebounding is so damn flawed it's ridiculous, but um, I am more of a passive one through one player. I like to uh, let them come to me, for, and I don't really like to force their hand because some people like to trap out of the one through one. But that's not me. But with the one through one, I always try to control the either power forward, small forward, or shooting guard. And I only really use the point guard if I'm trying to bump them. If they're trying to bull rush with like LeBron, Kevin Durant, or Paul George, um, you see, I just forced a bad shot there, and I don't know how the hell that pass got through, but it did. And that's just the flukiness of 2K. But yeah, like I said, a good 1-3-1 one user never stays in a guy for two seconds. Um, always try to anticipate, take risks, trying to close out. And um, as you can see here, I move over to uh, Terrence Ross and force a bad shot because I know he wants to go to T. Ross. And knowing the personnel is huge one through one because if they got four shooters, you have to rotate fast as shit every time. But also another tip for you guys, holding intense D, which is L2 on the PS4, and I don't even know what it is on Xbox One, probably the left paddle or whatever, um, that activates like a light underneath the player, and if you press the reach button once and the block button once, it seems to negate like a foul. I mean, you will be called every once in a while, but not majority of the time, so you get a good reach uh, if you want to, if they're trying to bump them, that's really good with bumping, so say they're trying to bull rush with LeBron, and you just bump them with L2 and the square button and you'll get like a good reach on them. It won't be a foul every time like I said, but um, you might get a, a rip from the player. But here I anticipate it might Dunleavy. I know Vasquez is a good shooter. I take Dunleavy out of the paint because with the 1-3-1, one, one, the bad thing about it is, well the general the bad thing about defense this year is they over help a lot and they get stuck in the paint. So you have to switch with them like by your user. You can't like depend on the CPU to do it. I'm closing out by myself, and it's so important to close out um, by the user because once you do that, um, you know they have to pass it, shoot it, uh, drive or something. You know, just don't jump either. I mean, you can hold R2 and L2 to contest. They won't jump. They'll just run up at the player and hold their hand up. Uh, I mean, only jump if like you're really, really far out and you have to close out fast and you don't think it will get to them. But other than that, hold R2 and L2, and it's like a glitchy closeout pretty much. It's really fast. And hold L2 and triangle when you block with intensity. It seems to negate any foul calls, so that works for that. But let's get to the man defense coming up shortly. And that's how you block uh, alley oops right there. You literally just stand in front of their player. No turbo, no nothing. Just stand there. It like, negates the animation pretty much. And then uh, right here, and man, I, I like to use versus post drives because. People love the post drive with like glitchy players like Durant, LeBron, PG, and then uh, with man you don't want to overcrowd like I'm doing here, but uh, fortunately he took a bad shot, and because if you overcrowd you will get beat on defense because dribbling is crazy this year. Here's what I meant about the animation. Um, I went up to him, I bumped him, and I forced the animation backwards with intensity, and I just hit square once, and you see how far I forced him back, and I eventually do a bad pass, and then here I'm always gonna use the, if when Derrick Rose comes back, I'm probably gonna use the Bulls most of my games. And here you guys see the intensity activated, I hit the reach button once, and um, you know, I just ripped the ball pretty much, and here I rip it again with Jimmy Butler, and the Bulls are going to be so, so tough with uh, Derrick Rose when he comes back on defense especially, and they're tough already now, I think they're the best defensive team in the game, but here I close out fast, that's what I meant with the R2 and L2, um, you don't really jump, so you really don't follow them either, and you, with defense, uh, man defense, you don't want to go straight to the ball, you want to go to where you think they're going to go, and um, that's really the key to playing man defense because once you learn that, you know, there's nothing really they can do. I mean, if you're bumping them and switching fast as shit, you know, they're going to make a bad decision eventually. And if they make some crazy shots, you just got to live with it. That's how 2K works. But here I bump them again, hit the reach button once with intensity, and I get the steal. And Tony Snow gets the ball hustling. 
And then, yeah, that's pretty much it on defense. Um, I can only tell you guys what to do. Um, I can't play for you guys. You know, I didn't get nice at 2K over overnight, pretty much. It took me a couple of years to get decent at the game. I mean, I only started playing 2K11, but now I'm all right at the game, and I like it, and it's pretty easy to me now. Pretty easy to me every year, too. So, also, like I said, if you guys want to buy the guy to learn the more advanced ways to stop the post drive. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Um, to stop the post drive this year in this game, you want to hold the charge button. Hold it down, not hold it all the way while they're posting up. Hold it right before they spin, and you will get a charge uh, the majority of the time. Because if you hold it down all the way, they'll fake spin you, and then bump you, and then you'll fall down. And they'll have an open mid-range shot, and you don't want that. And there, Kirk Heinrich grips Terrence Ross as I bump him. But yeah, guys, you gotta apply yourself if you want to really be a great 2K player. Um, I guess I, I guess I'm all right, but like, I mean, you have to put in the lab hours like I do. I mean, I've learned the tendencies of the game, learn the glitches, learn how to stop them. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to my channel. My guide is up on Google Play. The links are in the description below on the advanced ways to stop the post drive and the standing lobs this year in 2K. And guys, there is no perfect defense. Every defense has its weakness. Um, I mean, every there's a counter for everything in the game, so don't listen to fucking perfect defense videos. It's just, like, crazy. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to my channel. There is no perfect defense, so don't listen to them, and I'll fucking see you.